John, thanks for taking the time. Um, I, try, I think of a first question. I have a bloody hell lot. That game was, was something to, to watch. Uh, just try and sum up your emotions for us. Um, disappointed with the result. I want to win games. I want, I want to win. Um, the lads want to win. Um, so that's the, the underlying feeling. Uh, but proud. Proud of the efforts. Proud of the um, the way the, the, the guys um, f followed the plan. Um, you know, and, and yeah, lots of positives, but ultimately it's about results. We obviously changed shape, um, approach a little bit as well. We knew the way Southampton played and, and, you know, planned for that. That seemed to be going exactly to script at halftime, 2-0 up. Um, I guess the, the, the major disappointment then will be the first five minutes after the break, I guess. Yeah, and, you know, in the dressing room, it was, let's not concede, the first five, ten minutes. Um, one of them's a worldie. He does that he, he, ten times. It's it's not going to go in like that. Uh, but fair plays. He's, he's a talented player, um, and and they've got they've got talented players, and we are, you know I, I respect that. Um, but um, what we did say at halftime was let's not stop doing what we're doing, um, and we did that. You know we conceded two early goals in the same in the same manner though. We were, we were trying to uh, get on keep on the front foot um, and, and and seek opportunities when, when we could, and and we did that to and show great character to go um, to go three two up. Like you said, we'll come to the third goal shortly, but the way we sort of rode the atmosphere within the stadium in the first half, their belief as well with the unbeaten run that they're on currently, that shows just you know the belief that the last game gave the boys, but just how much they're buying into to what we're trying to do and how we're trying to play as well. Because there's, there's many teams that will come here and, and be a little bit submissive to the way that Southampton want to play, but we took our own agenda to the you know to the opposition, and, and that really showed. Yeah, I said to the lads in, in the week, uh, you know, I'm. I'm we're not coming here just to um, um, just to sit back uh, and lose two nil. Um, you know we're, we're going to be on the front foot. We're going to get after them um, at the right times, not recklessly at the right times. And and and, and the, the 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 guys did that, and it, and it was all them. And, and like I said, so many positives, and I think it's important that we hang on to those. You talked about the the team, you know, playing with the spirit and and you know the way that you approach a game as a player as well, that the way you want to be as a coach and and that element of aggression and, and, and want to win the ball that Desire was there from, from the off. I'm thinking of you know the tackles that Alex Matos was making, Brody Spencer was making, but to have players like um, you know, David Kasumu bombing on and, and scoring his first goal for the club kind of shows that from 1 to 11, they're, they're really buying into what we're trying to, to do from game to game. Yeah, I think it's, um, I think to be honest, I think it's, I think it's a squad effort. Um, obviously, there was some change, some changes in personnel from the from the previous game, but, but I think everyone picked up uh, picked up uh, picked up off where where, where we left. Um, and like I said, I think ultimately for me, um, you know, I'm I'm just trying to get the best out of um, out of the players, and but I've I've got got loads of belief in them. We talked about curveballs ahead of the last game with uh, David and, and Jack being ill the night before, and it was Rodinho's turn this time. And unfortunately, we just talk us through what happened with him. Was it just an overnight illness? Just, just an overnight illness, yeah. Um, you know, similar to last week, um, different illness, but um, yeah, I just just got the call, um, and 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 so obviously um, we lost him from the game, which you know, and he showed last week um, his potential and, and and what he's what he's about. But I said to the lads, I said um, nothing changes. The next player comes in. Sends the plan. It's what it is. Uh, opportunity for somebody else to come in, um, and, and 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 ultimately they did that. When they, you know, the second one goes in for them and they equalise and the, the ground feels the way it does, to be able to regather that composure and, and get the game back from a team who are looking to be, you know, a Premier League team next year, and by that display, are almost definitely going to be. That's no small matter. It, you know, as much as they're effort in terms of the miles they put on the clock, the, the way the game was played, it was basketball at some times. Um, so it really spoke to what's between their ears as well and, and how much they they want to perform for the club. There's no question of that um, within that dressing room. Uh, the you know, top professionals in there um, and who want to give everything. Really good characters. They showed that um, in a difficult moment when we conceded the two early goals. Showed resilience, character to come back um, and, and, and fight to get back into the game. Uh, and those are the positives for me, and, and those are the, uh, the the key moments. It wasn't just their bravery either. I think from the touchline, from yourselves, from the coaching staff, the changes we made were all incredibly positive to make a, a triple change where 
Brahima and, and Pat are coming on and those types of players who are going to stretch the game. If, if you thought it was going to be, you know, basketball and open before they were on the field, they're only going to add to that. Does that speak to the mentality of, of what you guys from the touchline want? You know, there's there's ways of winning, there's ways of losing. And, and today was definitely, like you say, it wasn't just turning up and getting beaten 2-0 and turning, going home. It was standing to a toe with the team and, and trying to see what you could get if you had a swing at them. Well, absolutely. And, and that's what we tried to do. Uh, that's what you didn't, didn't quite work for us in the end. Um, but but ultimately that that's that's my beliefs and the and the, and the staff's beliefs um, in, in terms of how we see the game and and that's ultimately um, how Mark and Jake and, and and Kevin you know they want to see um, attacking football and on the front foot and you know I, I believe we've got the place to do that. It definitely seemed that way and showed that way today with you know the fact that the goals were coming from unexpected places. Well, Alex Matos is first for the club. What's the, the mood going to be like for the boys ahead of Wednesday? Because it's a really short turnaround now. We've played I think. 103 minutes or something today as well which is no small thing what does the, the next few days look like ahead of Valentine's Day? Uh, positive that's all it'll be positive we go again home game two home games um, and, and, and if I'm taking the game um, it'll just be, be that same positivity John thank you very much for your time cheers thanks